was a man who was in his early 50s and he had an aneurysm rupture coincidentally while he was on the shuttle going to an airport. And, um, you know, I often think if that an aneurysm had ruptured just a couple hours before, he would have been in a hotel room by himself. Um, but instead, he was in the public and he got quick medical attention. And by the time he came to me in my office, he had pretty significant aphasia. He had a lot of trouble communicating. He still had a trach. Um, he had just gotten off his feeding tube. And he said to me that he wanted to go back to work. He was an attorney, he had his own practice, he had 20 people that were depending on him to get back to work, including his wife's, it's just the family business. I said, I'll do whatever I can to help you get there. And so we worked and worked and worked. We worked on his language, we worked on his, uh, you know, all aspects of language, his talking, his listening, his reading, his writing, all of those were so important for his job. And it took a few years and he continued to improve, uh, but he went back to work and he's still working today as a patent attorney um, in a solo practitioner office and supporting the 20 people that work for him. And he's one of the people that I always think about when somebody tells me their goal and my role is to say, I will help you get there.